The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to set up and configure an Agilent 53 200A series counter for use with an external time base or external reference oscillator. One of the advantages of using an external time base is that synchronization to a single time base eliminates beat and time base errors between instruments. Another advantage is the ability to take advantage of high stability rubidium clocks that are available on the market. Using an external time base with the counters involves externally connecting the reference signal, in this case it is connected to the external reference in terminal on the rear panel of the counter, selecting the time base menu, setting the time base source, and setting the time base frequency. Let's try it. Using an external reference, begin by connecting the output of the reference source or clock to the external reference input of the counter. With the external reference signal connected to the rear terminal of the instrument, set the external reference source by first selecting the utility key, followed by the instrument setup soft key. From the instrument setup menu, select time base settings. From the time base key, set the source to external. Set the external reference frequency to 10 MHz or to the frequency provided by the clock. Once the frequency is set, the external reference enunciator will appear in the display. The external reference setting is stored in the instrument's non-volatile memory and will remain there until changed from the front panel or changed programmatically using the system security immediate command. To summarize, using an external time base allows synchronization to a single time base which eliminates beat and time base errors between instruments. It also enables you to take advantage of the many high stability rubidium clocks that are available on the market. Setup involves externally connecting the reference signal to the counter, selecting the time base menu, setting the time base source, and setting the time base frequency.